This is a video demonstration of the Transact QuickBooks module accounts payables feature. This is the ability to pay your vendors for open bills using an ACH push transaction. We'll take a look at our vendor Al Bundy. He has an open bill with the total balance being $600. To make a payment to him, we'll select the customer's menu, roll over Transacts, and click on Pay Bills by ACH. When the dialog box opens, first select the vendor you're going to pay, again Al Bundy. Then we'll choose the bill that is open for him. Uh, there's only one in this case, 9876. The total amount that's due is automatically pulled in from the vendor's record based on the open balance of the bill that you've selected. It's $600 in total, but we can make a partial payment. The description was also automatically populated after we selected the bill. We can change that though as well. The vendor address information as well as the phone and email is pulled from the vendor's record in QuickBooks. We can make changes to this while we're running our transaction if we'd like. Uh, if we needed to update the city, we could do that. And then check the box to update the vendor record for a permanent change to this vendor's information back in QuickBooks. If we don't check the box to update the vendor record, whatever changes we've made to this vendor's information will only be referenced in this one-time transaction. Lastly, we've got the payment information. First, we'll enter our routing number and then account number name on file, and then a couple of details about the account. For instance, the account holder type, if it's business or personal, also if it is checking or savings. Lastly, we have the SEC code, which is the standard entry classification. Uh, it will be a PPD transaction for us. If you're not familiar with SEC codes, simply ask your ACH account provider for more information. The final step is to determine whether or not we want to tokenize this data. We can save the payment information that's been provided with this transaction in Transact Save so that next time it will be automatically recalled and we don't have to enter it manually. We won't save the transaction information this time, we'll only use it for the one-time transaction. Now that we're set to pay the bill, all we have to do is click Process and Close. We'll see that our transaction was successful, it gives us some basic details like the approval code and transaction ID. If we hit OK and then take a look at Al Bundy's account again, we can go over to the payments that are issued and see that our uh, payment has been applied. The balance is now $550 instead of $600. Uh, and our gateway transaction ID number uh, is applied to the account as well. Uh, so that anytime you look at this payment record in the future, you can easily tie it to the actual transaction inside of Transacts Gateway. For more information on the accounts payable feature of Transacts QuickBooks or any of the other capabilities of Transacts Gateway, please contact your sales representative.